Okay, I have no idea why the game was lagging, if it even was. Um, but yeah, so this is technically like part two of the video. Um, right, so I'm going to want to build this steel mill. Now, location isn't too important, but I do want to get it like sort of right. So those coal mines are basically in the same sort of place. Um, iron mines, yeah, I reckon just like here. And then the coal in the iron will slowly make its way over. The only problem is, is I'm thinking... Do towns demand... Towns and cities do demand coal, but they don't demand iron. Hmm. So we'd make money from shipping the coal... over... The alternative is actually that I build a station just here, soak up all the coal and iron. Because I want to I want to ship the steel to Adana because there's a tool and die that... Also, it's a good thing that the industries are cheaper for five years and not just like the first year. The tool and die will demand steel uh, and turn it into goods and it'll do this for the rest of the game. So, it's not like in 1890, it'll be like, it stops requiring steel for whatever reason. Because um, in 1877, it stops demanding iron and starts demanding steel to make goods. Uh, but now that it's already demanding the steel, that's not a problem. But we don't have any steel, so we are going to need a steel mill. One option would be to... Just build a steel mill in Adana, and then build a station here and just... However I go about this, the track is going to be nasty. Pretty nasty. So maybe I should take out a bond. I've already issued stock. Hmm. If I don't build the steel mill, we have no steel. End of. Also, this large station doesn't cover everything. Right, that's iron. There's actually more iron than there is coal. But I kind of want the coal, because then I can haul the coal to Adana. I probably want to build something like that. Also, I might be going about this the wrong way. It just... It seems the most logical to me, but it seems kind of odd. But we have to get iron and coal to make steel. We have to make steel at some point. It's just unfortunate that steel mills like two and a half million. Because obviously then we're not going to have enough money. So maybe I should just build a steel mill. I don't know. Unless I buy these farms, and then just make money that way, and then just go industry for a few years. But then we're not going to get steel. This is hard. It's not hard. It's not hard because it's like a typical scenario of like making enough money. I feel like it's just hard because I don't know what to do. It's like a puzzle. Also, apologies if this is, like, really boring to watch. Because I could just buy a load of industries and spend all my money on industry, and I'd probably make a fair amount of money, because these industries are really, really cheap. It's about 600000 for an industry, so I could buy five industries, and I'd make, like, half a million a year. Well, 400000 a year. Um... But that's obviously not the way to go. God damn, these industries... Okay, that's not profitable, but... Some of these industries... I would I would actually make almost half a million a year. Just from buying random farms and coal mines and whatnot. Right, I can ship... I can ship the coal to Adana, and that would make money. But... We need a steel mill. The alter. See if I. 
if I built a steel mill in Gaussian Tep and like hauled it to Gaussian Tep, I would get steel. But I would still have to build all the way to Adana to ship the steel anywhere. To Adana. And I'm not going to have enough money to do that. Because the steel mill is two and a half million. Tool and die is one and a half million. I'm a bit... I'm a bit stumped. Do I build a station here, or do I build a station in Adana? I can't just build a tool and die, because the tool and die requires steel. Maybe I should... How's the lumber situation? Ah, okay, so... This warehouse turns coffee into lumber. And there's a coffee farm here. Which is making a fortune. Because obviously the coffee is supplied here and just demanded at the warehouse. So, in theory, there should be a ready supply of lumber coming from Adana. So we definitely want to, at some point at least, connect to Adana. These are the same. They demand coffee. Hmm. How are we for logs? Ooh. Okay, so there's a heck of a lot of logs around here. But we need lumber and steel. So we have access to 598 miles of tracks. So it's not actually 600, but it's as near as makes no difference. The problem is, is I've already issued a bond and I've already issued stock. Okay, let's just hypothetically build track from Adana to those mines and see how much that is. Along the flattest route possible. Ooh. Okay, that's actually a rip. I was going to say, that's really sort of nice and flat, but then it's... In terms of as I build along the coast... We can build on connected track, that's actually really nice. Okay, building along the coast doesn't seem like a possibility. Yeah, building along the coast doesn't seem to want to happen. Not unless we get some kind of disgusting looking track like that. Or a tunnel. I don't want a tunnel. Hmm. So we either build up here, and then realistically the only locomotive we'd be able to use is the, like, the Shea or something, but... I guess the Shea's okay. I do like the Shea, actually, because the Shea can go. And I think I said this before, like, in Brazil. The Shea... Don't underestimate the Shea, like... The Shea will go 25 miles an hour up a cliff. End of. Like, it, it, it goes. And I think it's quite reliable as well. Yeah, okay, so it looks like I'm going to need a tunnel. Hmm... Doesn't look like I can actually get up this slope. I mean, I can, but with some pretty nasty grades. And also, this isn't actually as fast as I realised, because this... This is in the way! God damn it. So this is some awful looking track. Right, so anyway. Were we to just build track... I would have... Let's just actually build two gals in the tap. Really? Even, that's, even that is a nasty slope.
Okay, I'd have about 1.8 million left. And that is some awful looking track. Maximum gradient, like 12%. Ooh, it's actually like 14% there. Uh, there's probably a better way, but it's just hypothetical track at the moment. Like, I'm not actually going to go with this. I mean, I could. It's, it, it's just hypothetical. Uh, okay. Plus the stations, obviously. And the train. And water and service and whatnot. Maintenance and service. Would altogether leave me with about... 1.2 million. With which I could buy some industry. But I have no way of making steel. Saying that, if I did build a steel mill... If I built a steel mill, I would only have, like, 700,000 left. Which is enough for one industry. Okay, the steel mill will probably make money. But it might not, because it doesn't have anywhere to haul the steel to. Unless it just slowly made its way from Gaussian Tep to Adana anyway. So maybe this is the best way. I don't... I feel like I've weighed out all my options and I really don't see it. There's nothing that's kind of standing out to me saying, do this. And the reason I'm thinking this so through... The reason why I'm thinking this so much is just because... This start is critical, and I'm probably going to seem really stupid, but, to me, if you don't haul lumber and you don't haul steel, you're never going to get track. And at the, at the moment, there are no steel mills anywhere um, that make steel. Like... There are some mines in Konya, and there's a load of logs up around here. So yes, we can make lumber if we haul the logs around. I'm just going to go with this and see how this goes. So, ah! Okay. Anatolia is a mountainous region limiting the speed of trains. You have the option of importing the Shea engine for a fee of $500,000 using helper engines or both. Helper engines will improve your train's performance on grades by 33%, uh, but will also raise track maintenance costs by 25% and do double load or unload times at stations. Please make a choice. Well, I think realistically, we probably do need the Shea. Helper engines are free. Improve performance on grades by 33%. But they raise track maintenance by 25%, and that's quite a bit. And they double load unload times at stations, which are quite long in themselves. So I don't think we want to use helper engines, but I do want to import the Shea, but it is half a million. But realistically, it's the only train that will be able to handle these sort of grades. So I'm going to import the Shea. And yeah, I know that's an extra half a million. Right, media small station in Gaussian Tep does cover everything. Um, 
Last station just here to cover some mines. Yeah, there's actually nothing in Garzian Tep. Um, it is actually profitable to haul... Um, I'm just going to rename this to Garzian Tep Mines. It is profitable to haul coal... Wow, it's actually really profitable to haul coal in Adana. Because the houses obviously demand it. And it's also actually profitable to haul the iron as well. Um... So in terms of locomotives, this is what I was saying about the new locomotives. So we have the DX Goods, uh, which is only 40 miles an hour, uh, top speed. It is cheap, but it is a freight train, because um, passengers hate it. Not very good stats, but it is cheap. Um, also don't really like hills that much. Uh, we also have... The Shea, which we've imported, and the Vittorio Emmanuel II 460, which actually isn't too bad on the hills. Okay, it's not as good as the Shea, uh, and passengers hate it, so it is a freight train, um, but it is actually quite cheap. Also, notice that the consolidation is unavailable at the moment, although that could just be because these are all European locomotives, and the consolidation, I think, is America and world. Uh, yeah, the Vittorio Emanuel, actually not bad on hills, but it won't be able to handle these hills uh, that we just built. So we're going to go with a Shea, and we also actually need station in a Dana. I'm going to go with a large. Build maintenance and service. Uh, we're probably just going to go from the mines to Adana, but then, I don't know actually. It's actually more profitable to haul stuff to the mines than it is to the town itself. So Gaussian Tep itself is actually pretty useless. Um, I'm going to build maintenance and service just a bit outside the mines. Yeah, because, I mean, if you look at these grades, it's like... And yeah, okay, I could have built a tunnel, but I wouldn't have the money for it right now. And I think the Shea, the Shea can handle these grades. None of these iron mines are profitable. I find that actually quite odd, but I guess there's just no demand for iron. So, we're going to get a Shea, and it's just going to go from the mines to Adana and back and forth. There's no passengers or express. There's actually some express in Gaussian Tep itself, though they don't actually want to go anywhere. It's kind of odd. So, after a lot of thinking, I'm... I'm still doubtful this will work, to be honest. I just don't see how this is going to work. I can't actually afford any of these. I can afford that cotton farm. Let's buy this cotton farm. Gotta take advantage, because after five years, industries become more expensive. Yeah, the Shea... Shea just go... Shea... Okay, we're going downhill at the moment, but... The Shea can do 22, 23 miles an hour. Like... Pretty much any slope. And 20 miles an hour up a, up a cliff is faster than you'll get anything else. So the, the Shea is brilliant for this sort of terrain. Okay, it's pretty slow right now, but... Up there, you're not going to get anything faster. And it actually has good stats. Okay, it's got poor fuel economy. But it's really cheap to buy, and... It's, it's just expensive to maintain. It's a bit of an issue. So, I don't know if this is the best way. I don't know if this was a good way. We're actually hauling lumber, which is good. Uh, and produce. 
problem is it's one load of lumber and one load of steel for a bit of extra track. Um, but it actually makes a lot of cash, which is really nice. But eventually we are going to need a steel mill. That's the only issue. I'm hoping that an event will fire... Uh, ah, lumber mills actually just appeared. Near Kaysuri, which actually isn't too far. Um, I'm hoping that an event will fire that will be like... Yeah, see, it's still actually going at like 14 miles an hour, which is... Okay, it's not very fast, but it's faster than other trains would go. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that we'll get an event that will be like... A steel mill just pops up or something. Because two and a half million for one steel mill. Uh, I may have fucked ourselves. I may have fucked this over. I don't know. We are profitable. As a company, we are profitable. Egypt secedes from empire. Disloyal Ottoman government notifies Sultan puts Egypt under joint protection of France and Britain. His royal... Emperor? Abd al Hamad reportedly outraged. Uh, yeah, don't like consolidation is going to be available for this map. So, uh, somewhat pleased with us to increase our salary. Right, so we can just take out more bonds if we wanted to. But realistically, we are going to need like two and a half million. Are these iron mines starting to make any money? They are not. Hmm. Could connect to Aleppo, but there's not really anything here. The price of coal is cheaper, so there's not really much point in that regard. I'm also just thinking... Once we get the track going, where do we want to connect to next? Because this seems like a really nice mountain passage to get to Konya, which itself has more mines. Uh, but we don't have enough money, and even if we did, I don't think we have enough track. I don't know how much 287 miles of track is, but it doesn't seem like a lot. There's also not really a whole lot here, apart from maybe Aleppo itself. Kirkuk, not really, but then Baghdad and Basra Junction. Uh, Basra Junction itself supplying a load of oil. Um, Baghdad's quite a big town. Itself, that is a really profitable textile mill. I could take out a million in shares and just buy that textile mill. Where's it getting your cotton from? Ah, it's just a load of nearby farms. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, realistically, I could actually just take out a million in bonds and buy the textile mill. That one's a bit more profitable, but it's a lot more expensive. Hmm. And that would get us an extra, like, quarter of a million each-ish a year. Um, but again, it's not really the point. We need steel. Uh, also, annoyingly, um, the lumber that we hold obviously gets reset because it's a new year. I, I'm actually going to get another train just doing the same thing. Because it does take a long time for us to do a round trip from the mines to Adana and back again. It's also a good thing we didn't go for the helper engines with the double... Um, Double loading and unload times. So yeah, I really don't know if I fucked myself over. Here or not. Why does a steel mill have to be two and a half million? That is really, really annoying. I don't know. 
I don't know how you do. I don't. I really don't know how you're gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that textile mill. I she make a still. Ah, oh god, it's gone up to 1.8 million. Well, who? Could build our own. Yes. There is a lot of cotton here, so... This warehouse demands cotton. So it is going to steal some of the cotton, but... Could just build a textile mill here anyway. Growing prosperity, that is nice. So those bonds are actually going to steal some of our profit, but hopefully this textile mill makes money. It is starting to make cash, which is nice. I kind of want to buy that coffee farm as well, because that coffee farm uh, turns the coffee into lumber. Okay, it only supplies two, but that's still like two lumber per year. It's just a bit too expensive. Yeah, we're not making much money anymore. Hmm. Can't take out a bond. Took some of making some money, but just not much. Maybe industry is the way to go at the start. Hmm. I really don't know, because if I built a steel mill. Also, lightning in game. If I built a steel mill here, here, there's no guarantee it would have been profitable. And also, there's actually no coal and iron here anymore. Why the fuck not? The two shays really eating up all my coal and iron. Ah. Well, the iron is still profitable to haul. But there's now an excess supply of iron as a dana. And there's quite a bit of coal here as well. Jeez, if we had a steel mill here, it would make a fortune. I just can't afford it. Okay, a textile mill actually does need upgrading because it made a fortune last year. That's really good. So take out a bond. Upgrade this damn textile mill. Okay, I don't think we need two trains here anymore. So are any of these mines making money? Then not really. Coal mines are coal mines are making a small profit, but Whoa, okay, what was that? Earthquake? Uh, I'm expecting a newspaper because I want to know what the fuck that was. I would guess it's an earthquake, but nothing is actually popping up to tell me what that was. Uh, I could take out another bond. Another one. That's it. Nearly afford my steel mill. It's a teeny bit more than I can afford the damn steel mill. Ah, actually, passengers are starting to show up. We could haul clothes to Garzian Tep, actually. And we can haul lumber to Garzian. Ooh, yeah, okay, so. Let's make the last stop Garzian Tep itself, and then in Garzian Tep. Uh. William II visits Jerusalem, declares Germany protector of Muslim world. British ambassador dismisses him for a speech as empty propaganda displaying as much disinterest as a cat in front of a mouse hole. What? <laughs> can I take out another couple of bonds? Yes, we can! Right. So I can finally build my steel mill in Adana. And hopefully this will make a fortune, because then the steel will be demanded by the tool and die. So... Just make sure... 
up. Yeah, okay, so it is actually green regardless of the station. Yes! Right, so there's coal, then there's iron, and there is a demand for steel. So, hopefully... Yeah, you see, this is starting to make money. So, slow start. Um, and we have obviously taken out a shit ton of bonds. Uh, I can actually refinance some of these, though. So, okay, we do have, like, a fair amount of bonds. Um, but I'm hoping that now that we've got a fairly solid industry basis, because that house has just popped up, like, right now. I'm hoping that now we've got a fairly solid industry basis, this torn die will start to make some cash, which it is doing. I'm actually going to take out another bond and buy this tool and die while it's still cheap. Um, yes, yeah, so now that there's actually more steel going around, or some steel going around, uh, this tool and die will just start to make a fortune. Um, and the textile mill will make money from like the nearby cotton and wool. And we can actually start hauling more stuff. And then hopefully, there's not really much point for a dining car on as well. Um, yeah, and we're just going to make more money. We are economic prosperity as well. I say economic boom fading. Ew, okay. And therefore, the share price will increase and everything will be hunky dory. And hopefully, we can start hauling some steel. Um. Saying that, yes, there is steel, but the steel is demanded by my tool and die. Okay, there will be an excess. I'm also going to want to upgrade this probably next year. Um, but we're going to want to haul the steel to somewhere. New industry available. The abundant oil reserves of Mesopotamia can now be processed into diesel by the newly re available refinery. Through the warehouse at Basra Junction, you can trade diesel for lumber. Huh. So, were we to connect Basra to Baghdad? Uh, it did say that we can now start building oil refineries. Uh, there is actually a fair amount of oil in Baghdad anyway, uh, and Basra. So if we built an oil refinery in Baghdad, and then shipped oil to... or diesel back to Basra, then we could get lumber. So if we connected Baghdad to Basra, then that's a surefire way of getting lumber. But we can't, re we can't be wasteful with the track, because we only have 286 miles left. Hmm. How do I... How do I haul loads... How do I haul steel? Should I have built the steel mill here instead? I probably should have built a steel mill where the mines were. That's probably a mistake on my part. Also, this is actually going to want an upgrade. Quite possibly. Hmm. Yeah, if I just made a stupid mistake, built a steel mill in the wrong place. It's actually free to bulldoze. That's interesting. I don't know because this is making a fortune. The alternative is I just build a tool, is I build a tool and die in Gaussian tab, and then that would force that would cause us to haul steel 
two girls in tap, maybe? Hmm. Okay, hang on. Let's take out some more bombs. Build a steel mill. Here. What? Ah, oh, bollocks, it's gone up to 2.7 million. Right, build a steel mill in next to the mines. Sell this. And possibly demolish it as well. Okay, why is it not demolishing yet? Like... Okay, now that it's no longer owned by us, it's now six and a half million to destroy. Right. I made a massive mistake. I might have to load an autosave or something. Or just hope that this makes money. Which it is doing. And then steel is massively demand- yeah, steel is demanded at a price of 73. I kinda wanna buy this back. Oops. Ah, oh, fuck it, you do. Hmm, well, shit. Okay, let's just see how this goes. I may have to load an autosave. Problem being, of course, that the autosave will destroy itself. Economy slowing. Okay, this is making money though, and it is actually it is actually providing steel, so maybe this isn't the end of the world. In fact, actually maybe this is good. The problem is, of course, is I just sold a very profitable industry. Right, let's get Hmm. So we are actually a very profitable company, and we've got a very profitable industry. I have to hope... The thing is, is... I have to hope that we're not going to be hauling much more coal and iron, so this steel mill will eventually be starved of resources and fail. Once it uses up all the available coal and iron. Because iron is actually now more expensive at the mines than it is in Adana. And the same with coal. Actually, coal is still cheaper, but... Again! That's... Why does it keep doing that? Yes, yeah, so it's running out of coal and iron. So it's still making money, just not as much as it would do normally. And we just hold a shitload of... Steel. Right, I'm gonna build... From Basra to Baghdad... Hope that we've got enough track to do so. Uh, come on, what's a vertical station? Actually, I guess that'll that'll work. That will work, provided I can build out of here. Whoa, that is some crazy track. I do not want that. Okay, that works. That works well, and I've actually got enough track to do this. Just about. Right, so... By doing this... Okay, yeah, I've got a shitload of bonds and I'm paying like 600,000 in interest. So I have kind of screwed myself over. I shouldn't have built that steel mill. Um, I do want to upgrade this though. Yeah, I shouldn't have built that steel mill in Adana. I should have just built it next to the mines and then haul the steel to Adana. So that gave me a lot of money early on. Uh... But then, when we... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't that bad, because that's that did make a fortune. Um, right, so... I'm going to haul 
this oil to pack that, and that is a yeah. So eventually, we obviously want to haul oil um, to Istanbul, so we're going to want a train going from Basra to like Istanbul. But we've got until 1915 to worry about that. And since this is flat, this can just be uh, like a fast train. Um, the Vittorio Emanuel is actually the fastest train I have in that regard. Since we don't really care about passengers. Yeah, let's just make it a Vittorio Emanuel. I don't know why this is list. I don't know why this town is called Basra Junction and not just Basra. The Duke is... Yeah, let's just go with the Vittorio Manuel. It's a new train. So I can show it off. So, this is actually an Italian freight train from, like, the 1880s. And I think this served until about 1915. Um, apparently it ran on, like, a mountainous journey between, like, Turin and Genoa. I don't know how mountainous that actually is, but... Or how steep it is. Uh, but, yeah, it's an Italian freight train... Um, it's got decent stats. Passengers hate it, but it does climb hills well. Um, decent speed for the time. So the main thing is this is hauling oil. Granted, it's only hauling two loads. And then... Uh, we're going to want to build a refinery in Baghdad. That was another thing. Yeah, we're going to need an oil refinery in Baghdad. How much is an oil refinery? I bet it's like... Yeah, it's 2.7 million. Right, so we can't build it straight away. Um, Ottomans celebrate 600-year rule. Dynasty holds Sultanate since 1292. Festivities lead to higher prices for alcohol this year. Nice. So, the Ottoman Empire was apparently founded in 1292. That is interesting. Uh, can get more bonds. Still can't build my oil refinery. But I feel like this oil refinery is just going to make a ton of money. Um, okay, it's actually only like to really it is barely profitable to haul um right now i can build my oil refinery in baghdad so this is it's kind of a puzzle this scenario like it's just figuring out what to do and i might not be doing it correctly but um so hopefully this just makes a ton of cash because the oil is there. Ah, okay, the S3 has just become available. So, the S3 kind of makes this a bit redundant. Possibly. Uh, because it's got better stats. And it's faster on flat land. So, yeah, we just want to upgrade that to an S3, actually. But at least I got to show you the... Um, At least I got to show you the Vittorio Emanuel. So that's just hauling a load of milk. This is actually starting to haul diesel, so... Okay, it's actually not making money. I'm a bit surprised by that, because... Um, it is making diesel. Wow, that is making a fortune, hauling goods from my tool and die. It's a shame that this is so slow. The Shea. I also have seven and a half million in bonds, which is annoying in itself. Yes, yeah, so it's a slow start, but we are making a fortune now. How is... The steel mill is actually still making money. It's still 6.6 .6 million if I wanted to buy it. 
I don't really know how, given that... Hmm, I don't know. Okay, this is actually really annoying. Is that... Okay, so we are hauling steel. I'm actually going to get another train and just do the same thing and start it here. I feel like there probably is actually enough cargo here for two trains. And we are going to need to hurry up on this. Hmm. Because eventually we're going to need to start hauling a lot more lumber. Uh, because at present, there are 29 loads of lumber on the entire map. There is lumber in Adana. So we could haul that to... Uh, where can we haul that to? Can we haul it to the mines or do we haul it to... Doesn't make any difference really. Because Iron Tep or the mines. The mines is technically quicker but... So we could even build, like, a furniture factory. That might be kind of cool. But then, I don't think it would make any money. Yeah. Hopefully this hauls some lumber. Nope, it's just hauling goods and clothes. So maybe I'd get even another one. Now it's hauling lumber. So, lumber and steel... Blah, blah, blah. This is hauling diesel. So, is my refinery still not making any money? What's that about? So, this year we've hauled no lumber and no steel. Once these trains start doing stuff, that'll change. And then we can start worrying about actually connecting, like, East and Bull and Ankara. Because uh, there's probably actually a fair amount of money to be made from East and Bull to Ankara. It's just actually... Connecting the two because you won't have enough track to do so. So, this lumber needs to start making its way over. Um, yeah, for every, lo for every load, it's 20 miles extra up to um, 10. So, at present, I would get an extra 80 miles of track. You gained 140 additional track cells at the end of the past year. Ah, uh, okay. But I think there's no limit to how much you can hold. So I think... I think if we don't build the track, it just builds and builds and builds. Which is quite nice, actually. Because uh, some maps with limited track, it's like up to a maximum of... Uh, like 2,000 or 1,500. I think India was like that. And Transcaspian might have even been like that as well. So it's kind of like, if you don't build it, it's wasted. Um, essentially. So, I may want to double this up, but I don't have enough track to do so at present. Yeah, so we definitely want to start getting to... Actually, does Konya even have anything, really? Some coal mines and some iron mines. What about, like, Ankara? Because obviously we have to connect to Ankara. Uh, Kirikali? Not really. Kayseri has the lumber mill, which is making a fortune, and we could even buy it. I'm going to buy that. Stock's probably going to split. Almost going to split. So yeah, now we just gained an extra 100 miles of track. Uh, which is really good. So we can actually start hauling or connecting Ankara to Exisehir. And then work on connecting to Istanbul. And then actually, once we connect Istanbul to Ankara and start hauling clothes to Istanbul. I don't know where the clothes are, but hey-ho. Um... That's bronze in the bag. And then silver, uh, we have to get to Baghdad as well. Which is going to be kind of difficult. But I'm going to save the game and create a new video part here. Uh, so things are actually starting to turn around. 
Um, but we only have 21 years left. Hopefully that's enough time. Anyway, yeah, um, new video part.